welcome to Amman, Jordan. How old are you? Uh, 23. What did you study? Pharmacy. You're so smart. <laughs> Thank you. You are smart too. Hi. <laughs> Hi. just told me that the green lights in the parking garage means that the spot is open. That is so genius. The fun. Wow, it's so pretty. <laughs> Barbie every day, Barbie every day. Barbie every day. And now I play the sea day is one more day. Alright, so I just got lunch with a friend. We went to this really cute place. I'll put it in here. Super good. I actually recommend this if you're visiting Amman because it's like nice atmosphere, but still Jordanian food, nice view, nice cute little place. And it's also really close to downtown. So if you want to do like the Citadel afterwards and do Sukhjara and like all the downtown stuff, this would be a good spot to go. But now I'm about to walk all the way up here. It's very toasty today. I think it's close to 100. So behind me is downtown. If you keep going, there's actually, you might be able to see it. Citadel is somewhere over here. You can go to Rainbow Street, try your rainbow, and get some coffee, and then head back, get some work done because I haven't worked uh, in the last few days. I've taken some time off, which has been really nice just to spend time with them. But also now I like actually need to get some some editing done. How pretty. Feels so good to be back here. Okay, so I've been in Amman for about a week. I'm in my family's house here. This is the family that I lived with when I lived in Amman for a year in college. So it's just so good to be back and see them and like get to spend so much time with them. I feel like I need to have a whole chit chat with you guys. Actually, I think, yeah, I'm gonna have like a shadow and schmooze in Amman that that'll be up before this vlog actually. So we'll talk about everything there. But so far I've been in Amman for about a week. It's pretty nice because like during the day, everyone's at work till 4.30. So I'm kind of doing my own thing, working usually here or like at a coffee shop. And then at 4.30, I meet up with all of them and we like go do something. I love how here everything is open so late. Like if you go to a coffee shop at like 11 p.m., it is completely packed like more packed than it is during the day. It's very lively at night, which I love. It's so fun to be able to do things now with Sarah because when I lived here, she was like 13. So we weren't like going out to cafes and stuff together. And now it's just totally different because she's like 23. It's been really, really nice. I'm so glad I came here. And it's gonna be not 10 years. <laughs> I'm gonna come again uh, before 10 years. I'm like forgetting how to speak English. So I'm just doing some quick makeup and then I need to finish editing a video. I have like a couple hours before everyone gets home. I'm just using the Always Naked palette by Wet n Wild. I just washed my hair for the first time since I've been here. And I mentioned in my international like travel prep video about the shower situation here. And it's actually changed since I've been back. There's a full shower now, so that's exciting. We don't boil water anymore. And if you stay at a hotel and Airbnb, like they, they all have actual showers too. It's just, I think it was more of like a it was really expensive in the past. I think it still is, but like water heaters are expensive. Water is expensive because of the scarcity here. It's been so exciting for me to like show you guys Jordan because I don't know, it's just, I think it's a country that a lot of people have or just a region really that, you know, 
people have thoughts on in the U.S. that aren't always accurate and how it actually is. So I'm just excited to get to show you guys like the people here, the culture, everything. I'm not doing the whole like Petra, Wadi Rum, all that stuff because I lived here for a year. I already did that. And if I was here for longer, I would definitely want to go back to, I want to go back to Wadi Rum, but it's just kind of like a whole thing. So I'm not doing that this time, but I might go do like, if I have time, the days are already like running out. It's crazy. But if I have time, I might go do the North. I love the North part of Jordan, like close to Syria because it's super green. There's like a beautiful lake. There's like camping and stuff out there, but I'm like mostly here to spend time with my family here and not really like see Jordan since I've already seen Jordan. So just know there's a lot. <laughs> I'm not showing you in the vlogs. I'm just showing you around Amman basically. But Petra is here, which is, you know, one of the seven wonders of the world. And there's a ton of history and a ton of things that you should see outside of Amman if you are coming here. It's so different than last time I was here in, in a good way. It's just becoming more modern and things. I've been loving using the shade from the Dior highlighting palette as an inner corner highlight. My NYX liquid liner exploded everywhere in my suitcase, so I don't have a liquid liner right now. I need to pick one up. But I'm just gonna use the Makeup by Mario brown liner and just like smudge it. So the weekend here starts on like their Thursday night is our Friday night. So the weekend is like Friday, Saturday, basically, like the full day's off. So tomorrow, which is Friday, maybe we'll go to Salt, which is like a city outside of Amman, where my family here is from or the Dead Sea or something. The Dead Sea is only like an hour or 45 minutes away. But I hope you guys enjoy seeing Amon. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen like, I've been showing a lot of stuff or I've been trying to. That is like a few weeks ahead of YouTube. So definitely follow me on Instagram if you wanna see like the travels in more real time. When you're seeing this, I'm actually in Italy. So <laughs> let me know your Italy recommendations. I'm gonna be in Florence, Rome, and Venice. I'm gonna finish getting ready, but I just wanted to pop in and chat with you guys a little bit. Sarah took me to this place, Swafia Village. This is so crazy because like none of this, <laughs> nothing like this existed when I was here like at all, but there's a bunch of different like food places and then you can get food from wherever you want and just sit at the tables. There's like a ton of places downstairs too. So we just got some bao and then we're gonna get some more food downstairs. So I got a lot of questions about this on Instagram. You do not need to wear a hijab in Jordan. A lot of Jordanian women don't wear hijabs. It's totally up to you, your family, what you prefer. And I answered a lot of the questions about Jordanian culture and Arab culture in my last video. So we're in this store called Ohana. Uh, Avenue Mall. Avenue Mall. And they have like all Zara stuff for like really cheap markdown. Pretty cool.
dehydrated. So we just went to the gym and <laughs> Sarah just <laughs> keeps her seatbelt off and would rather hear the beeping for an hour. Yeah, five bucks. Just for you guys. Only for you. Yeah, yeah. forget safety. Only because of the beeping. <laughs> Fun fact, no one wears their seatbelts in Jordan. Ever. When I lived here, I got used to it, like in taxis and stuff. Zade puts his on. <laughs> Anyways, we went to the gym. One of the things that I thought was interesting when I first came to Jordan is that because of just cultural stuff, the gyms are separate. There's like men's gyms and then women's gyms. And in the women's gyms, you can take off your hijab and stuff. So like Sarah doesn't have her hijab on in the women's gym. So all of the windows are tinted because it's just women. You know, everyone's wearing like crop tops and whatever they want because it's all just women. I remember being like amused by that when I first came to Jordan. Last time, I remember seeing a woman eating a donut once on the treadmill. Good. Yeah. So now we're going makeup <laughs> shopping, as you do. I need some eyeliner because my next one exploded everywhere. What are you getting? Powder and uh, brown eyeliner. I'm filming in cinematic mode right now, which I always forget to, but I think it looks so good because the background is like blurred. This is the makeup store we're going to. Wish us luck. They have love spell. I think everyone wore this at one point. That was a success. Sarah got the L'Oreal powder to try under her eyes. I should have brought another e.l.f. powder, but I didn't. That's what I've been using on her. It's crazy how much more expensive these are. This is like the equivalent of like 24 US dollars. And obviously they're normally like 12 or 10. I got two eyeliners from the 17 brand, which I've never tried. And I finally found, it's been actually like hard to find an eyeliner pen here. It looked like it was gonna be good. Focus, Isabel Dupont. I'm just kidding, okay, Caleb. Your video. No. It's your moment. <laughs> Time to shine. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, now your mind is blank. <laughs> Yellow bite? Bye. Okay, bye. I'm trying hookah on ice. Apparently, it's better. Warm up delivery. I just finished filming a video. I'm in an Airbnb right now in Jordan, so I'll tell you about that in a second. But first, starvation mode food. If you get a shawarma meal here, it comes with like fries, garlic sauce, and coleslaw. Sprite and the big guy. I also got it with cheddar cheese and jalapeno this time. Oh my god, this looks so good. Just like chicken wrapped with sauce and cheese and it's amazing. I'm gonna eat and then talk to you. Okay, so I just filmed a video. You guys will have already seen it. It's the Shadow and Schmooze. So if you're interested in hearing more about Jordan, living here in the past, everything, I talk all about it in that video. So I'm out of breath. <laughs> Why am I out of breath? I was just pulling up blinds, nothing extreme. But as you can maybe tell, I am now in an Airbnb just for like a little over a week. But honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be sleeping here that much. I think I'm gonna be sleeping back at my family's house, just spend more time with them and they want me there. I mostly got this space because I, I do need to film a few videos while I'm here. So I just wanted to have good lighting and a quiet space to film. So if I was doing it again, I would have just like booked this Airbnb for like two nights, but I'm basically gonna be like working here during the day and then going back over to my family's house at like 4.30 or five when everyone gets off work. But if you're coming to Oman, this Airbnb is beautiful. It's affordable and it's in a really killer area right off of Rainbow Street. So you can walk to literally everything, tons of restaurants, really good space. But I'm gonna show you the tour. We're gonna do an Amman apartment tour here. This place is beautiful. There's a balcony, there's an insane view. So I'm excited for you to see it. Okay, so here's the front door. You walk in and here's the little kitchen. There is a double burner here. There's no microwave, but I think they said you could request a microwave if you wanted one. Ignore my mess. By the way, last night I got in and had a migraine, so I kind of just threw some stuff everywhere. And then I filmed this morning, so it's just been a little busy, but so here's the living room. Super cute, like modern kind of decor. There's a TV and then you have these killer 
windows and I don't know if you can tell but between there and then right there obviously beautiful view that is downtown Amman so where I am right now Sharia Rainbow is like one of the main areas to visit tons of restaurants really like active area at night tons of work spots views bars like everything and then looking out from this window here's the balcony i really like their little setup right here and this is actually like a perfect spot for me to do my makeup because it has really good natural light and there's this big mirror here so i'm gonna be doing my makeup right here and then here is the bedroom look at these windows in that view that's again downtown that's a street that connects to rainbow street there is of course ac a couple of cute like floating nightstands tall length mirror which i love that's like if a airbnb has a tall length mirror gets bonus points for me i can't wait to like sit out there yesterday sarah came over to help me get my bags up here and stuff and i was like oh that'd be fun if we got food to go or something and just hung out out there and then here they have a wardrobe thing built in and again look at that i mean i can't get over the view so I didn't really like unpack at all. I mean, I just put my shoes and stuff in and then hung up like a few things. Oh, I got this at Zara the other day. I think it's really pretty. It's very lightweight. So I thought it'd be a good throw on over anything shirt. And I love the color. Comfy bed and it's, I think it's a king maybe or definitely a queen. The bathroom, let me turn on the light. It's kind of darker in here. So hopefully the camera will pick it up. Here's the shower, really nice shower, really good water pressure and super hot water. So that was a great shower this morning. Little vanity sink. I just have all my stuff kind of like sprawled out here. It's a little window and then toilet everywhere here has a bidet. Actually very handy. I love how the bed looks like it's floating. If you're visiting, super good location. So far, everything about this Airbnb I think is great. So I'll leave the link to it down below. If you do need a place to stay in Amman, tell them I sent you. I paid for this myself. They don't know I'm making a video about them. Okay, headed back over to my family's house. I am fingers crossed that maybe we'll go to the Dead Sea today or tomorrow. I did my makeup. I've been really into like a full face right now. I don't know, I go back and forth where I want to wear like no makeup or I want like full blown Full makeup i think it's because let me know if anyone else is like this when i don't like my hair i feel like i need to compensate like overcompensate with my makeup you know Hi. <laughs> we are going shopping in outside of avenue mall the same mall that i we already went to but there's this one street that i remember from when i lived here that has like really good cheap clothing and jewelry and stuff so we're gonna go check it out i don't even know what because i like can't fit anything in my suitcase but you know also it's like 102 degrees right now if you're coming to jordan <laughs> you have to haggle and barter for literally everything i got this wallet what did he originally say he said 35 JD. And from 35 to 15. 35 got it down to 15 JD, which is the difference of like $30. And for a fake Gucci bag, he wanted to charge Sarah 55 JD. No, he was like... Uh, oh, for this is 75, yeah, right? 75. Yeah, 75, which is like literally $100, which for a fake bag, which is like total ripoff. So Sarah said 20. Don't ever pay full price for anything here. Oh. 